These are the six best drop servicing niches for beginners this year. In fact, I'd say that any one of these niches will take you to $10,000 per month fast. And to show you that, you know, I'm not all talk, I'll put some examples of students of the drop servicing blueprint getting sale after sale after sale here. Architects are a great niche because they make a lot of money. And what is the best service to sell to this niche? 3D modeling. Because architects use 3D modeling throughout their projects because it allows for enhanced visualization communication and iteration of ideas and other things ultimately leading to better designed more successful projects so architects often choose to outsource 3d modeling for many reasons first of all they get the specialized expertise of modeling firms and freelancers but second of all outsourcing is a more cost-effective solution especially for smaller architecture firms that you know may not have the resources or budget to maintain an in-house 3d modeling team so third of all our Outsourcing can help architects meet tight deadlines and manage project workflows more efficiently. So by delegating the time consuming task of 3D modeling to external experts, architects can focus on core design activities and project management. So you already have three benefits that you can use right there to start selling the service to architects, but how will you find them online? Well, you can use directories like Who's Pro Architizer and AIA's Find an Architect option that allow you to connect with architects actively seeking collaborators and services like 3D modeling. So you can use these tools to find the architects, then reach out to them with an offer to get your first sales. Now, it seems like every few years, there's a new kid on the block when it comes to advertising that, you know, blows up and all of the early movers into that new platform take the biggest slice of the pie. So TikTok ads are that new kid on the block and they're getting more advertisers on board every single day. So you can reach close to 1 billion people with TikTok ads. And right now it is the fastest growing ad platform. So this creates a major opportunity for any drop servicer looking to create a recurring revenue stream. The best niche for TikTok ads right now is e-commerce. The reason being, it's very easy to create product-focused ads and make a profit with TikTok. All you need to do to start selling is find a freelancer on Upwork willing to work with you, then use a site like Built With, which will provide you with lists of leads. They have a website built on Shopify, for example, which is the leading platform for e-commerce. You can then reach out to these companies offering your service. So how much can you make selling TikTok ads? Well, you can hire a TikTok ad buyer for around $500 per month for a given package and that same package can go for $2,000 which means that you can make $1,500 recurring revenue for every single client that you land. So with seven clients you're already going to be making $10,000 profit per month. Now we all know animation is a very popular drop servicing business model, but I see most drop services make a big mistake in focusing on a broad market without differentiating their offer at all. Differentiation creates both real and perceived value. So it's an essential part of building a successful drop servicing offer. So 3D animation for medical clinics is a great example of this. Every medical clinic goes through the process of explaining procedures to patients beforehand, and the patient may have many questions about the procedure, but what's more important is having a good understanding of the procedure can also relieve the patient's anxiety and give them more peace of mind. So that makes this the perfect niche for 3D animation because not only is there a good need for it, but medical clinics also have a lot of money to spend and it's a pretty easy business to start. Just like the others, you can find freelancers on Fiverr, then simply do a little bit of research on Google for medical clinics, reach out to them, you know, offering a service and you're good to go. The average age of a real estate agent is 49 years old. So this niche might have better people skills than millennials or Gen Z because, you know, they actually grew up without computers. But the opportunity is the majority of agents don't have a clue about anything digital marketing related. Their business relies purely on in real life connections. So there's a major opportunity here for a drop servicing business providing lead generation services to real estate agents. And essentially what you'll be doing is helping them get buyer and seller leads using things like Facebook advertising. So you can reach out to real estate agents via their Facebook pages or websites or the contact info they have on those Facebook pages, essentially offering them a service for generating buyer and seller leads. A buyer lead is someone interested in buying a home. So you just set up a carousel ad with all the agents' homes that they have on offer, then target audience is likely interested in buying a home in their area. So a seller lead is someone interested in selling their home. So 
you might target them with an ad offering a free PDF on, for example, you know, the top 10 things that you can do to quickly boost your home's value. And this is a really great service niche combination that any beginner drop servicer can get started with. YouTube is essentially its own economy, contributing $35 billion to US GDP, having 390,000 full-time paying jobs. And the platform is growing with 15% more channels having over 100,000 subscribers in the last year alone. Plus 6,500 channels with more than 1 million subscribers, which is a 15% increase in the previous period. So this is a great market for any drop services to enter. And you know what jobs pay the most though? Well, if you think about it, unless the YouTuber does everything themselves, each video is going to need a script written, a video edited, a thumbnail designed, and someone to manage the channel itself. And the crazy thing is, when you look at Upwork data, video editing takes up 50% of the YouTube related projects. But thumbnail design comes in second with 25%. But the great thing about thumbnail design is the thumbnail is, you know, the most important part of making a good YouTube video because if the viewer doesn't click on the video, they aren't going to watch the video. So how can you start this business? Easy. First, find a thumbnail designer on Upwork. Second, get some examples of their work and put together an outreach email using ChatGPT. Then, the secret part here is that on a YouTube channel, most creators have a business email listed where you can just send them your offer. So you simply reach out to a few YouTube videos and boom, you have a recurring revenue stream. Because remember, the YouTuber is going to need thumbnails for every single video. So comment below your offer for me. I'm a YouTuber as well. Um, but seriously, don't email me. I probably won't respond. I'm very, very loyal to my current thumbnail designer. Uh, but definitely leave a comment below anyway. It helps with the YouTube algorithm, so I appreciate that. And, um, you know, remember as well, in an era defined by rapid advancements and technology, everyone is focusing on AI these days, right? It's very popular right now. You can see all of the YouTube videos about it. But the great niche for AI is online education because AI applications can revolutionize the way courses are delivered, accessed and experienced by students. So if you think about 2023, the e-learning market is projected to reach $325 billion by 2025, according to research and markets. So this staggering figure is just a testament to the rise of digital education. First of all, it's massively growing. I'm a part of the industry, obviously, and we're always on the hunt for new solutions to you know, improve our course delivery. All we really wanna do is make our students get results, help them get results. So AI can help a lot with that because a lot of the time, many of the questions that you get are the same questions over and over. So of course, you can optimize your videos, you can optimize uh, answering that question within the course itself. But the great thing now is companies usually have a knowledge base. And on these knowledge bases, you can kind of scroll down, look for articles, it might have a chatbot that doesn't know what it's saying, and it sends you some random articles to go through. But the cool thing about AI, and we can see this in ChatGPT, is that you can just type any random question, and it will just give you a straightforward one paragraph answer, and ask your question like, that. So no longer do you need to actually go through and read articles to figure out answers to very simple questions even, but the AI can just spit out that information for you. So when it comes to course sellers, just having some kind of AI coach that is like an additional coach to of course the actual uh, person teaching the information, um, but these things can help support the students when they have a quick or simple question that can be easily answered by the AI. So that really helps when it comes to some additional coaching and getting coaching to that student much faster, especially when you're at scale and you're getting a lot of students coming into your program. So that's why AI knowledge bases for course creators is a great drop servicing business to start right now that not many people have really thought about doing at all. It's something that only just became possible recently, but I'm giving that idea to you right now. So hit the YouTube video if you really like the fact that I'm just giving you these free business ideas that are really good business ideas. I'd do them if I had the time, um, but I want you to go out there and do them and then comment below this video and tell me the results that you've got. So in case you haven't already, check out the training in the description below this video. It's a free two hour training. I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know to earn your first $10,000 with drop servicing. So check that out, like the video, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Actually, you know, showing you how to build drop servicing businesses and get results. So see you in the next video. Talk to you soon.